Hello all and welcome to another Gavin Entertainment video and welcome to day two of Video Palooza. This is the review for Thor Love and Thunder starring Chris Hemsworth. It's now available on Disney Plus and I watched it so you didn't have to. I watched it with my whole family, Gamer Buddy 015, my mother and me watch it this weekend and let me just say it at the end it finally got good and it tries to be comical and you have uh, cameo appearances of actors of good standing, but they aren't very, very, um, their roles here are greatly diminished. Uh, the, po the plot moves slowly. Yes, there are some corners of the internet that made particular notice of the scene in which Chris Hem Chris Hemsworth Thor gets disrobed, that scene is in there, but it's pe it's played more for comedic effect and comes off rather dumbly in the in the plot. So that's what I have to say about it: is it neither here nor there to me as far as offense, other than it, it offended me because it was dumb plot wise. Uh. Matter of fact, the whole plot was dumb. Uh, the character... Uh, Chris Hemsworth does a, a, a good job, an admirable, an admirable job playing Thor as we know him from the other Thor movies. But this script is very much lacking in intent, in direction, in substance, and in overall quality, period. The movie is slow. It's more about it. Try to be a love child to the '80s, hence Love and Thunder. And there is a little bit of love between him and the female lead, Jane. But it doesn't really matter. And the movie starts off nonsensically. Now we come to find out at the end why it plays importance, but. When you just start it out that way, it makes no sense all the way to the end. You're pretty much entrusting and ensuring that people are going to stay to the end. And you can't always do that. So, it is a lackluster film to me. I can see why it bombed at the box office and why it came to Disney Plus so quickly. Because it is, it's a film that lacks cohesion, coherence, it has good acting but a terrible script, it has good actors who don't have a lot to play with, not a lot of meat, not a lot of meat to sink their teeth into as far as the story goes, and believe me, it incredibly shows. I wish I could say better things about it, I wish I could say that it was a better film because I always want the Marvel films and for that matter the DC, the DC films to succeed but the way that these Hollywood types are taking Hollywood in general is making it weaker and weaker and weaker. You can build up a strong male lead and a strong female lead without harming one another. They can both be strong on their own and naturally come together. The fact that she had to become weak for him to be strong and yada yada back and forth uh, was just dumb and it just didn't make sense. It wouldn't have made sense the other way around either uh, if, she, if he was made weak so that she could be strong. It just doesn't make, that doesn't make sense. A lot of things didn't have to be the way they were because they wanted him to be that way. Let's put it that way. So that's why I have to give Thor Love and Thunder four popcorns out of ten. 
If you really must watch it because you're watching the MCU, go ahead and watch it. But if you if you want to skip over it, it's worth skipping over. You're not missing much. The plot just isn't there. There's a lot of plot holes. There's a lot of substitute substantive material that's missing. And it's not very good at all. Leaving the let me know in the comments down below if you've watched Thor Love and Thunder and what you thought about it. I did think, like I said, the music score, the special effects were all there and were all good. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, along with the other actors, do their best to make lemonade out of lemons or chicken salad out of chicken shit. Let's be honest. It is not a good film in many, many ways. But let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Thor Love and Thunder and what you've thought about it. Uh, try to keep it spoiler free if you can because not everybody's seen it and I want to let people, if they choose to see it, have a, <coughs> excuse me, have a chance to um, make up their own mind and make up their own decisions, which I think anyone in their right mind should be able to do. And this is what I would normally say. You know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please ding on our notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. If YouTube is working that day, we all know how, how that is. But because you're in the thrill of video palooza, I will see you again tomorrow for another video. And until next time, happy watching. I'll see you again soon. And peace.